You doing awesome with that quest? I bet you are! Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep is a DLC pack for Borderlands 2. It's really nice to actually see that um, they've released a piece of DLC that's probably worthy of praise. Um, I, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? DLC is a bit of a a bit of a weird one when it comes to actually reviewing it because most of it is just an extension of the actual game, and this isn't this isn't any different with Borderlands 2 um, with the past. I mean, Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage is fairly different, um, and it's quite funny as well. But this one is completely different, and I think they've taken a bit of a gamble, but it's really paid off for them. They've really put a lot of effort into making it um, a really enriching experience for players, and actually making people want to part with their, their hard-earned cash to actually buy it. They've overhauled a lot of the textures, there's an amazing soundtrack to it, like... The, the music you can hear now is um, one of the tracks from one of the areas. It's really, really good. Uh, there's a lot of nice Borderlands 2 humour in it. Um, and you get to see all the characters from the the, um, you know, the actual main campaign uh, reappear. It's really good and I would definitely um, encourage 2K to make uh, more DLC campaigns like this a bit. Um, offshoot with Borderlands 1 they did something similar when they did like uh, Dr. Ned's Zombie Island and things like that really wacky and out there DLC campaigns is what we want from Borderlands 2 Cam the actual main campaign is big enough by itself you don't want things getting too repetitive um, and if they introduce all these funny little quirky DLC campaigns this is how they're going to get more players back into the game and buying the DLC pack so they've actually done a really good move um, making Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. Now, one thing which I'm not very happy with, um, there's a lot of ways to spend Iridium uh, in this, and you have the option not to, but... The problem is, um, with things like, you know, playing the jackpot machines um, with Iridium, because Iridium's pretty hard to get hold of uh, if you don't play Borderlands 2 a lot, it sort of just seems like a, a real waste of time. Um, if I was you, I wouldn't bother spending the Iridium, apart from to get an achievement uh, after you finish the uh, the DLC. Um, you'll understand once you actually finish it, but uh, you get an achievement from that. That's really the only thing I would spend the Iridium on. Um, that'll probably take you back about 15 Iridium, something like that. Other than that, I wouldn't spend the Iridium. I think it's a sort of a bad idea. They should have lessened the values, really. Just impede, uh, to not impede uh, casual players as much. I've also had it a few times where um, AI has actually bugged out, like significantly, as in got stuck into a wall or something like that. Um, it's sort of annoying because, um, it's, well it just is when any, ever anything bugs out. But I don't know, it just seems like, there's because there's a lot more obstacles and stuff like that, Kiting things around is a bit more tricky because a lot obviously mobs can get stuck in walls and things like that. It sort of annoyed me. It's happened three times so far. So, um, but I have played through the DLC twice. Um, so you sort of get where I'm coming from here. It's not too bad. Um, but obviously, any bugs bad. I would just recommend the DLC. It's just really really good um, there's nothing else I can really say about that it's got a good story good textures good everything and it's only 7.99 which considering you're gonna get a, quite a lot of hours out of it it's, it's pretty good it's just so entertaining and it's really in keeping with the Borderlands tradition where they sort of release the odd wacky DLC pack I haven't really been uh, incredibly happy with the the ones they've released because they've sort of just felt like, you know, ooh, more Borderlands 2 quests. I, didn't, I wasn't looking for that, I've, you know, I've got the main campaign and I can play it to my heart's content, I can play that three times over if I want, I don't want an extension of it. What I wanted was something different and Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep certainly delivered.